This is an analysis on WellPoint, symbol WLP. Uh, one of our members asked me to do an analysis on this stock, so I'll be more than happy to do so. Um, whenever we look at this stock, I always want to take a look at a longer term perspective and then zoom it down to a daily and an hourly. Long term meaning weekly or even monthly. Right? You want to get a big picture of what the overall stock is doing. And you also want to compare it to the sector that is in, it's in. Uh, WellPoint is in healthcare, so you want to look at and make a comparison. First off, you want to see that currently WellPoint is holding on to its 20-week moving average. And let's go into healthcare to see what, what it's doing. And healthcare is also doing the same thing. It's holding on to its 20-week moving average. So that's a good sign, right? You don't want a stock that's doing worse or performing worse than its sector. Okay, so let's break down this stock. We've noticed that back in 2008, uh, we had some major decline, just like the rest of the market. Uh, we pulled in a double bottom right here. So that's a very nice bottom, right around 30 bucks. If you've never seen a double bottom before, um, that this is how it looks like. A nice W looking pattern. All that is really telling me is uh, this stock is no longer making lower lows and lower highs. It's starting to have a change in trend by making higher highs and higher lows. And currently that pattern is still valid. It hasn't put in a, a lower high and lower low yet. If it does that, then that tells me then the change in trend is happening again and I should no longer be bullish on this stock. But currently it still looks like a decent uptrend. Um, from a long-term perspective, it's also pulling back towards a prior resistance uh, now acting as support. You see how it broke through and it looks like it's trying to hold on to this area right here right around the 20 uh, week moving average and then around the $58 price level. So just from a weekly point of view, this looks like a pretty bullish stock, okay, from a long-term perspective. Nothing about it has changed me to think that it's bearish yet. So we zoom into a nine-month daily view. Uh, recently, WellPoint has been experiencing some pretty sharp sell-off, uh, almost pretty much straight down, and you know nothing ever goes straight down or straight up forever. And as a result, we are oversold on this stock. So you know it's getting a little bit stretched out towards the downside. In addition to that, um, it's pulling back, or at least it's hold, holding on to this support area right around the 57 and a half. So there's several levels or several things that's pointing towards a potential bottom that's forming right here. Now looking at today's candlestick, we have a potential hammer candlestick, so a bullish reversal. All we need is a confirmation. A confirmation that buyers are willing to step back into this stock. So what is confirmation? Well, if traders are willing to trade above today's high and maybe even $60, that's a good confirmation to tell me that uh, buyers are willing to buy this stock again. If that happens, I would place a stop right underneath today's low. So we have a defined risk, a defined entry, a defined stop. So we're risking about two and a half, three dollars on this trade, okay? So you know what you're getting yourself into if you decide to buy this stock or buy options. Now the next part really depends on what you want to do with this stock and your outlook. If you just want a quick trade, then you want to shoot for the next resistance level, which is around 62 and a half. Um, if it breaks above it, then the next one is 65 and ultimately you have the $70 resistance level, which is the prior high and it's also a, um, a, an even number. Also looking at this pattern, that's a bearish engulfing pattern. That's a bearish reversal uh, candlestick. So if it ever gets back to this level, I would definitely take profit here because you know there's probably still some buyers that are holding on to their losing positions all the way down here. And if the stock ever uh, gets back up here, that's their second chance to get out, to break even and get out, out of their losing position. And that's how resistance gets built, by the way. Now, the other thing you can do is rather than buying stock, if you don't want to hassle with worrying about um, target levels, you can sell some bear call or bull put spreads, I should say, um, probably at the 55.50 strike price. Okay, some bull put spreads, probably the March ones. That way, you don't have to worry about selling at the resistance. All you have to worry about is that this stock doesn't drop below 55 by expiration. So again, you know, there's really uh, several ways to trade this stock. It really depends on what you want to do with it. I always use the comparison, you know, with one map, there's uh, multiple ways, no, multiple vehicles to get from one, uh, point A to point B. 
The other thing that you probably want to factor in is your outlook on the overall market. If you think right now we're just experiencing an oversold bounce, uh, a relief rally, then any rally in this stock is most likely uh, going to be short lived because once the market starts rolling over, more than likely it'll drag the stock lower as well. So again, you know, you have to combine all these different factors. But the main thing is, you know, what is the overall market doing? What is your bias towards the market? And then once you once you have a certain bias, then you can act according to your overall outlook of the stock market and your stock as well.